Hey, Super Carlin, brother. So, Ben, today I want to talk about... Wait, what is that? Oh my god, I love this song! So rock me, mama, like a wagon wheel. Rock me, mama, any way you feel. Yes, Ben, if I like a song, I will listen to it on repeat, uh, forever. Which can be a problem, because, like, in the office, everyone else in the office might not be as into thrift shop as I was for that week in May. It was this week. And last week. And the week before. I have a problem. But you know what else I struggle with, Ben? What else I have a problem with? Opportunity food. Now, Ben, I would like to consider myself a fairly healthy person. I mean, I run several nights a week. I try and work out during lunch every day. When I'm at the grocery store, I won't even let myself buy junk food so I can't eat it when I'm at home. But I do just stand in that cookie aisle and stare at the Oreos. Also, beer isn't junk food, right? And I try not to eat fast food, try and avoid McDonald's. <laughs> McDonald's. McDonald's, Taco Bell, Chick-fil-A. Oh, but the chicken minis, Ben. The chicken minis. And I know half of you are sitting there thinking, oh my god, I would never eat a Taco Bell, you monster. But the other half of you, you've had that Doritos Locos Taco. You know what I'm talking about. But if I can get into like a regular week and a regular routine, I think I am pretty healthy. Ah, it's only cup number four, Ben. But here's the problem, Ben. There's no such thing as a regular week. Regular weeks are interrupted by what I call opportunity food. Opportunity food is any food you didn't originally plan on eating, but were given the opportunity to eat. Like once a week at the office, Ben, one of the women in the office who are all so nice and are being so gracious will decide to bring in a plate of homemade cookies. Or maybe some chocolate bourbon pecan pie they had left over from their derby party last weekend. And my god, is it like sinfully good. Or maybe it's someone's birthday, I don't know, but it all amounts to the same thing. There's free dessert in the kitchen at 9 in the morning and it's gonna be there all day. And I'm gonna have to walk past it 10 times on my way to the copier. Opportunity food. And it's so hard to say no, especially when all you had for breakfast was like a granola bar and a banana. And you know all you bought for lunch was a peanut butter sandwich and a yogurt. And that brings me to lunch, Ben, because normally, like I said, I like to try and work out at the gym during lunch. But oftentimes, people ask me if I want to get lunch with them, and I always say yes, because it's always more fun to, like, hang out with someone than go exercise. But it's a triple whammy, because now instead of, like, eating healthy and exercising, I'm not exercising, I'm spending money, and I'm eating worse. Opportunity food. Sometimes I can still order healthy, but sometimes the only thing the restaurant serves is 18 inches slices of pizza. Oh, hey, I want I wanted to be healthy today, but pizza. Then there's dinner. If I have time to prepare it, great. But oftentimes, I don't, or I'm just too lazy to do so. But then opportunity food strikes, Ben. I mean, I go to a standing dinner party potluck two times a month, or it might be wing night, or Taco Tuesday, or Mexican Monday, or Thirsty Thursday, or Free Queso Friday. Ben, if a restaurant could come up with an alliteration for the kind of food they serve end of the day of the week, I can't argue with that. And then that dictates what kind of food you get. Like, at wing night, you have to order wings. I mean, you could get something else, but that would sort of defeat the purpose of wing night. And you wouldn't be capitalizing on 29 cent wings. Well, gee, Jonathan, just order less wings. Well, I'd love to, Ben, but there's a certain man code that goes with ordering wings, and any guy will attest to this. Number one, your wing sauce must have some level of spice to it. None of that honey barbecue crap. And two, you must order wings in at least double digits. Maybe you could get away with eight in a very progressive group. And you could try just ordering nine, I guess, but who who on earth orders wings in odd numbers? Ben, I try and fight the good fight, but the battle against opportunity food is never ending. There's always another holiday, special occasion, or just social gathering to get in the way of what would otherwise be a very healthy lifestyle. So Ben, my question for you and everybody else is, what is your major opportunity food weakness? What gets you every single time, every single week? Let me know down in the towel section below, and I will see you in another life, brother.